Okay, hello everybody, CJ here, your local friendly technology addict, and <laughs> I'm still trying to get my heartbeat down a little bit from what just happened. So I said in my last video, uh, my last Crystal Radio video, that I was going to use a transistor as the detector. <laughs> Wow. Turn the volume down, okay? That's all I can say about that. Check it. Check it out. You see that volume knob way over there? It's like almost nothing. I had it up. It's still almost nothing. I had that thing up at like... <laughs> oh, geez. I had it around 60%, give or take. Um... Yeah, give me a second here. Okay. Wow. So, I had that volume around 60%, and I, I had everything hooked up, I thought. I'm like, you know, I'm not getting anything out of this, you know? what? So I'm sitting here messing around, messing around, messing around, nothing's happened. And then I remember, <laughs> on this particular type of breadboard, the bus lines these here that run horizontally, have brakes in them. You have a segment of three over here, then you have a segment of four in a row, and then you have another segment of three over on the left. And the segments of three are connected together, the section of four is connected together, and the section of three over on the other end is connected together. And I had not connected the power because I, I use them for power buses, and I had not connected them together to get the plus 9 volts to the circuit. So, and, oh my word, I'm going to call that a success. I'm going to call that a raging success. I am thrilled at how blazes loud this thing is, okay? I think I could probably get by with just a regular speaker. This one will work. I just like to turn off my power. Bill Belichick believes that Jimmy Garoppolo really is the answer. I mean, they drafted him in the second round. There, you know, no other quarterback that they drafted. Okay, finally, it's starting to drain Garoppolo, off the power. I've got a pretty good capacitor on my power supply, so I didn't know at the time what that capacitor actually was for, and now I do, and it's honestly a little bit too big. Um, I get tired of waiting though, so. All right, so what I'm going to do is show you the circuit. I've pulled out the uh, capacitor here that connects from that orange wire. That orange wire goes from the collector of the 2N2222 transistor. Now, the schematic calls for a 2N4401. Uh, the 2N2222 is basically the same thing. Um, they're very close in their specifications. They're not identical. But obviously, it's close enough it works, right? Um, but that uh, transistor down there is emitter-based collector from left to right. And the orange wire connects the collector to where I had the capacitor to con connect that to the um, speakers. Simply because I did not have enough room for the capacitor next to the um, transistor. But instead of those speakers we'll just move that out of the way and I will place this one here instead okay and then I need a little bit of extra wire well first off let me go ahead and connect this back because amplified or not I'm going to want that uh, to be close to the original circuit. And then I need to bring the back side of 
the speaker, and by backside I mean that electrically, to ground. And uh, let's see what I get. Hmm? Did I remove power from? No, I did not. Well, that's anticlimactic. I can hear it. All right, so that's a fail. Well, not really a fail. I've learned another way not to make a speaker connect to this radio. So clearly I have to put this other one back. Not a problem. All right. Right now, he's a guy... Right, selectivity. Maybe not much, but uh, okay. So yellow lead, yellow alligator clip is the antenna, and the white alligator clip. Well, right now I've got the circuit directly connected, but honestly, the way it says to do it is to connect the uh, the the detector directly to the coil. in a similar manner to the antenna. Now one other thing, I do not currently have the antenna shield grounded, so let me go ahead and clip that on and see what happens. Loss of a lot of signal, but, well not a lot of signal, but a lot of volume, but look here, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not aware hardly anything on that. Any and I wonder if that adds any selectivity. I'm still quite broadbanded here. Alright, so, of course, um, well, that's obviously ground end. Interesting, so if I get the leads closer together, it seems like I go through stations a lot quicker. Or maybe I'm just in a different section that has more of them. I don't know. Anywho, I'm going to say that's a success right there. So this, um, this schematic, which of course I'll uh, put back on the other camera here, the bottom one here. That schematic apparently works. So feel free to go back and pause the video if you need to see that. Um, so we, we've taken crystal diode as a detector and replaced it with a transistor which effectively is just a couple of diodes but you know, you can add power to it and get it to amplify the signal that it detects, uh, which is a good thing. <laughs> um, now we need to figure out how to do selectivity and all that. But um, for right now, I'm happy with this for a video. We've uh, replaced the detector. We've shown that it works. And it works a whole lot better just simply adding a little bit of bias to that transistor. Um, I don't know what I'll do for the next one. I think, uh, well, I need to go back to that website and see what it says to do. Because I, I kind of like it because it kind of does a build on it kind of thing. So let me go back and do that. And then keep your eyes open for the next video. And until then, have a good one.